Have you been wondering to yourself, how the heck do I improve my shot? Or maybe you're one of those out there that has a keen shot already, and maybe you just want to get a little bit more deadly. Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name is HippoTC. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide video. If you like this video and maybe you want to help me defeat the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below, smash that subscribe button. You can also find me over on Twitch. I stream every single week you can find all of that information in the description below i would love to see you stop by and say hi with all that out of the way let's jump into the video one of the questions i get a lot during my twitch streams is how do you get better at aiming your gun in sea of thieves well i do believe the biggest factor in this equation is practice i do think there are some practical things you can do to help improve your aim in this game let's start with the basics your sensitivity settings there are a couple schools of thought here when it comes to recommended sensitivity settings but at the end of the day it's all going to be personal preference i would just recommend a setting though that feels natural to you for me i use a low sensitivity with a high aiming down sights the theory goes that by default when you aim down your sights it's going to be inherently slower making it easier to make those precision shots however what tends to happen is you need to be able to make a quick shot happen and with your aiming down sights being slow it makes it harder to hit those shots in close quarter fighting so by making your standard sensitivity lower, maxing out your aiming down the sight sensitivity, you will be matching the sensitivity speeds between the two actions, making it easier to shoot your targets because you're building that muscle memory that you need. Let me say this another way. By having a lower sensitivity when you're just looking around and a higher sensitivity when you aim down your sights, you are matching the movement speed of both actions, meaning your muscle memory, there is no difference when aiming down a sight or just looking around normal, making it way easier for you to aim in my humble pirate opinion. If you're curious on the settings that I use, I have normal sensitivity set to 2.7 and have maxed out my sensitivity for the flintlock blunder and I have reached to 10. Again, it's all subjective, so you need to figure out what works for you. I'm just sharing what I prefer and the reason and theory behind it. Now that we've talked about sensitivity and settings, let's discuss the weapons a little bit. Each weapon has a bit of difference when it comes to best practices, and I will get more in detail about each weapon in future videos. However, for now, let's just cover the very very basics. The best weapon for hip pirate is the flintlock. It has the best pattern at distance, making a force to be reckoned with, especially in close quarters. The eye of reach is absolutely trash when it comes to hip firing. So unless you are directly standing against your enemy, you will probably never hit them. And even then you will still probably miss. The last weapon is the blunderbuss. And though at close range, it can be deadly. The hip fire on a blunderbuss is extremely unreliable and not to be trusted. Now, aiming down your sight is going to give you the best accuracy for your gun, even at close range with the blunderbuss. If you aim down your sight before firing, you have a much higher chance of one tapping your enemy the only gun that you can kind of get away without aiming is the flintlock if you want to use the eye of reach you pretty much have to aim down your scope for it to be effective which brings me to my next point there are going to be some cosmetics for your weapons that will give you an edge over others for the blunderbuss i recommend a cosmetic that has a low profile this gives you the ability to aim while seeing the most of your screen as possible and since the blunder is only good up close this will make it easier to aim in those close quarter fights for the flintlock i recommend the obsidian flintlock now you can get kind of a variant of that like the mercenary flintlock this just has an iron sight that is absolutely perfect you can pick this up at any of the outposts and it provides you with an iron sight at the end of the flintlock to help with aiming and last but not least for the eye of reach i recommend one of the more standard weapon cosmetics one like the default sailor for example it's not super fancy but what it does is it clears up your screen so you can see the most and honestly with the eye of reach there's a lot of skins out there that are so big and it just blocks half your screen i do not recommend it they look really great but you need to go with something that is going to function even better there are some cosmetics out there that look really good but honestly are more for looks than they are functions don't get distracted with new cosmetics out there if it covers half of your screen make it even harder to aim your gun okay now the last thing i want to cover is how to practice aiming really the goal for practicing is to 
build muscle memory. The more you practice, the better you will get. There are a few ways you can practice, but one of my favorite has always been shooting the bell on your ship. You can do this as often as you like, and every time you hit your target, you get a satisfying noise letting you know you hit your target. This is also a great way to practice aiming down your sight and hit firing with the flintlock. For me, I try to move around the ship a little bit as if I'm getting attacked or doing some attacking of my own, uh, just trying to get my target while moving. This method is great for building that muscle memory. Some of my other favorite ways to kind of practice shooting is shooting skellies on islands while passing them on a ship. You can shoot kegs and floating barrels. That's always fun. And shooting skellies in fort towers. But if you are really wanting to be fancy about it, you can do some mega keg barrel skeet shooting. I just recommend that you do it at a safe distance. With all that being said, what are some tips and tricks that you guys have to kind of improve your aiming? I would love to hear it. Make sure to comment down below. I love reading your comments. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.